Ethan Brady. I knew it. Walker's message said he was coming in with this guy. Well, no one told me. Yeah, well, if I could ever find you when I need you. Yeah. You'd only just joined Harvey's crew, right? I'm sorry about what happened, but you survived. We could use a guy like you. I'm Jack Parrish, by the way. This is Doc Sam Burnett, and, uh, ain't no more you met. No hard feelings, I hope. You're a lucky boy. You okay, kid? Looks like some head trauma. Possible concussion. I got some pills you should take. Hey, Doc, you don't need to open up. He needs to keep his focus. Head injuries can be unpredictable. You feeling confused, kid? Disconnected? He's fine, Doc. You know what's real, don't you, Brady? Looks like he's been through a lot. Last thing he needs is more trouble. Can't you fix him up a new ID and let him go? It's not that easy, Doc. You saw the screens. The Norks want this guy bad. Besides, we need people like him. He ain't afraid to take a chance. He's seen too much already. Yeah. So, what do you say, Brady? You're gonna stick with us, huh? It ain't gonna be glamorous. And you're probably gonna die. Ah, speeches like that. I'm amazed we haven't won the war already. Yeah, well, that's why we need Walker. Our huh? words ain't my specialty. So, any objections to Brady joining? <laughs> no? Sweet. Well, if no one's gonna listen to me, I'll be getting back to my work. Good luck, kid. So long, Doc. All right. As soon as we get word where they're holding Walker, we gotta find a way to bust them out. Everything depends on him. But first things first, we're gonna get you trained up and show you how we do things around here. I'm heading out. Got that transceiver to take care of. See ya. Walker. Well, it's good you came along when you did. Walker must have seen potential in you. I don't know if he trusted you. My instincts tell me you're all right. And we need more people like you. People willing to join the uprising. That's what it's all about now. We gotta stir the people up, and soon enough we'll be snowballing. We'll get the whole city behind us. And the Norks won't stand a chance. Come on over, Brady. Walker's a spark. People will follow him. We gotta get him back. Uh, we've been down here for a few months now. This is all part of the Broad Street subway extension. It was mothballed back in 21 when the city ran out of money. It's not on any of the pre-war maps, so the Norks don't know about it. And here you have it, Brady. This is the boot that's gonna kick the KPA's ass. Come on over here. But first things first, let's get some Americans to this. This is, uh, Sidney Cook. He runs the armory. Who's this? That's Ethan Brady. He was helping Walker. Walker got arrested? Yeah, but that wasn't Brady's fault. Don't worry about Cookie here. He's, uh, generally in a pissed-off mood. But he's a genius at improvising weapons, and that's why we keep him around. Ain't that right, Cookie? Always cooking up something new. <laughs> One day you're gonna make that joke and I'll shoot you dead. Then we'll see who's laughing, huh? Sydney, take it easy, will you? Brady needs a weapon. What can you spare? You're gonna have... This. If it turns out you show some aptitude, then we can talk about upgrading. I know you're thinking a pistol won't do much, but with one of Cookie's special conversion kits, suddenly you got yourself an SMG. There you go. Now try converting your pistol. We're still waiting on that transceiver intel. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. Moore's on it. Say hey to Brady. He's a new recruit. The resistance is more than just frontline troops. It's What's up? people helping the best they can. Take Doc Burnett. He's a good example. That's not going to win this war, though. The top line is we got to build up our strength by expanding our red zone operations. We keep ambushing and raiding. That weakens the Norks and strengthens us. Eventually, we'll turn the tables. And in the yellow zones, we're fighting for the hearts and minds of the people trapped there. We give them the belief that we can win. And when Walker gives the call, they'll rise up and follow. 
We only get one shot, though. We gotta be ready. Okay, I want you to head to the red zone. Dana will teach you how we operate. Out there, she's the best in the business. Just try not to piss her off, huh? Show me I'm right to trust you, okay? You don't want to go up there unprepared. You should take some Molotovs. Hey, Lorna, help the new guy out. Be best if you learn how to make your own. Grab some ingredients and give it a try. Okay, now just put it all together. Try There you go, nice one. Okay, now you're set. Molotovs are great against their soldiers, but they don't do shit to drones or vehicles, so watch out for those. Elm tree's down here. Dana, this is Parrish. I'm sending you Brady. He can help you hit the KPA transceiver. Make sure you get the coordinates of every KPA operation in the area. Dana here. Understood. We'll get you those locations. As soon as we can reach the KPA transceiver, we'll download the data. Shit, Dana. We got a patrol. They must have switched routes overnight. You got any ideas? No time to go around. Let's hit him. Okay, Parrish wants you trained, and I guess I owe you for before, so you get to learn from the best. Just try not to screw things up. New plan. We're ambushing this patrol. Brady, best if you go with G-Man. Just do what he says. Try not to die. Come on, buddy, this way. And yeah, try not to die. Alpha, you got anything? Give me a second. Okay, yeah, Dana, there's barrel traps on Elm Tree Avenue just ahead. Brady, through here. Come on, let's hustle, dude. Just hope it works. They're approaching the marker. This is it. Ready on the barrels. Not yet. Wait. Now! Where are you guys? Isaac, we hit trouble. Be better if we split up. Everyone head for a transceiver. With luck, some... 